Hello folks, welcome to the Age of Asparagus, here to tell you on a new adventure creating a 3D top-down shooter in the free Godot game engine. In this tutorial series we'll be making a game like this one, where your simple character will move around and shoot waves of spawning baddies. This gameplay is actually from Sebastian Legg's original Unity 3D tutorial series. Several years ago I completed that series and I really wanted to try it in Godot. With Sebastian's permission, thank you Sebas, I thought I'd share my attempt by porting his tutorials over to Godot. Now, I'm nothing close to a professional game designer, although once I tried to create a game with MIT App Inventor called Crappy Art Space Invaders by exploiting the crappy art and sound effects of a young human child of mine. Let's never speak of that again. Actually, I'm an educator, and although the way I do things might appear to the trained eye to be messy at first, my focus isn't on premature optimization or organization or advanced techniques, but instead just having some fun and getting it to work. But as the series progresses, my plan is to slowly refactor the project with explanations along the way into something we can be proud of and then an experienced Godot user, well, at least something they won't barf at. The pace is fairly casual and you can follow along, but you should have some basic understanding of Godot and GDScript already, and maybe have tried an intro 2D series. I'll link to a few in the video description. My explanations in the series will focus on the 3D aspect of our game. Adding the z-axis can really complicate things. I do get a bit excited at times as I still find it a little thrilling when my code works and I can manipulate pixels on my screen the way I want to. Feel free to comment on the videos if you have ideas or improvements you think we could make or why something I did was extra silly and I'll try to include them in future videos. If I miss something in the initial recording, I may have my helper here provide some additional context or info. Finally, I'll be making the game in Godot 3.2. If you're using a newer version of Godot and struggling to follow along, I'll do my best to explain any changes that affect a video in a Godot version update section in that video's description. And if you don't find an answer there, please leave a comment about it. The source code for the game will be available on GitHub and linked to in each of the video descriptions. My goal is to post a new video for the series at least every Sunday, with a few extras thrown in when we can. I hope you enjoy the series, and thanks again to Sebastian Legg who inspired it.